Welcome to Grounded as a new player. You will find that there are tons of advanced guides out there, but not so many for new players first getting into the game. And this is what this video is for. It's to show you a roadmap of areas that are suggested to go to progress as you advance throughout the game. At the very beginning, it's the game guides you through this area and it will tell you where to go, what to do. But after that, it may get a little bit more questionable of what areas you should go explore as you further progress throughout the game of Grounded. In the beginning of the game will show you your progression of where you need to go. After that it tells you you need to go to the oak tree so you follow this route right here. And once you're completed with the oak tree portion of the mission, you have two options of where to go. You could head over to the pond, which is right here, right next to the oak tree, or you could head to the hedge row bushes, which is down here. If you choose to go to the pond area first, it has its own unique environment. You're going to have to craft special gear to navigate this environment as well as crafting special tools to gather the resources which you will find down in this unique environment as well as you are going to need to craft specific weapons to fight the creatures that you also find down in the pond area. If you decide to travel to the hedges first, you're going to have to travel through a few areas and one of them is the flooded zone. While this area is not too hard to get through, you may have to watch out for mosquitoes and water fleas. And when you finally do get into the hedges, you face a whole different environment of challenges, as well as lots of resources. Be aware that you can suffer fall damage when you are up in the hedges, so that is something to be aware of as a new player. The next key area that a player will want to go into is the hay zone. In this biome, there will be a challenge for the player's abilities not only to survive because of the gas, they are a lot more aggressive, they have unique attacks, but with the danger and hazards comes rewards. This area is loaded with all kinds of resources that the player can harvest. The next three key areas is the garbage pile, the sandbox, and the picnic table. Although the garbage pile is really not that hard, one has to deal with gas. There is a lot of loot here, and there is a key entrance to the Black Ant Hill that is located here. As of right now, the picnic table is not a dangerous area to go to. You do have to be aware of the bees, and if you do attack the black ants that are up here, but there is a lot of things to find up on top of the picnic table, as well as it has access to the sandbox. And as of the hot and hazy update, the sandbox is the hardest biome within the game so far. Not only will you have to deal with the new creatures and their unique attack styles, you're also going to have to battle the effects that the environment has on you as a person. And with that, Grounded is such a fun game with so many different environments and so many different things to do. There is no right or wrong way to play this game, as well as there is no right and wrong way to explore the backyard. This guide is just here to help you start your adventure in the backyard. And as the game progresses, there are going to be a lot more places added and just more fun is going to be added into the game. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, you guys have a great time out there exploring your backyard. I am Magic Flying Potato and I am Oot.